Uh, first of all, uh, thanks everyone for joining the, the quick session. So, so as part of this is the migration and the conversion batch, which we are going to start soon, maybe max in one week or 10 days, we are going to start max in one week. So what we are going to discuss as part of this migrations and conversions here. So, so here as part of this one, we are going to build a our existing new system, we are going to use it here. We are going to so build the new system here, right? So am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So here, as part of the, our first plan is the step number one, what we are going to do here, we will build a new system, copy of, copy of the existing uh, ECC system. So existing ECC system here. Then after that, so either uh, system refresh, system copy, or system co system refresh, maybe DB refresh, DB refresh, or so that we will do it here, right? So maybe build a new system. So you get a new system, copy of the existing ECC system, we will use it here separately. So after that, we'll perform the will perform the post steps here after that we will perform the will perform the the post steps here once that is done then we'll straight away we'll start the we'll start the so os and db migration so our source is on so windows windows the database is the sql server so which we will migrate to the so linux only we are not touching sap then on our database. This is the first part, OSDB migration. We will do that one, right? So this will take some days. So to perform the OSDB migration, then what are the prerequisites to perform this activity and uh, how to perform this activity without touching the SAP. Here we are not touching the SAP. SAP will stay on the same. In the latest version of the SUM tool, we have without system update, we can migrate our database from SQL to that SQL or Oracle from any sources, any database target is to the HANA database. We can migrate it also with system move or without system move option also, we can use it here, right? So here only without touching the SAP, only DB we will move from. So Windows to Linux and SQL server to HANA database, we will do that one. Once done, so normally what we did is for the previously, so we'll reset the, once the migration is done, we will perform the validations. Validations means, so how the tables are behaving, how the jobs are running, all the connections, technical validations. So maybe some functional jobs, something like that, we will, will do the validations. Once everything is done, what we will do it here. So then we will use the reset option. We will read the reset option means here only we will starting the migrating the source DB SQL server to HANA DB, which means only data is copying from, from here to point in time to HANA database, but source system will source database will stay same as is source database will stay same as is it will stay. So when you do the reset option here, what it will do again, it will back to the your previous database here. In this case, we should not touch the sum and all those things. We should not some some folder cleanup, source system deletions, cleanup, some decommission activities. We should not touch this one here, right? These things we have to perform it here. So reset option again. We are once the OSDB migration is completed. So then after that, once the reset is done here, so then what we can do here? We'll perform. We'll do the conversion preparation activities here conversion preparation activities conversion preparations means so here so what are the like uh, some topics like here we will discuss about the some pre steps like here the os and db metrics checklist whether it will meet, will meet or not and also we will discuss about the some of the things like uh, so readiness check reports how to execute and its implication item catalog and also the preparations for the preparations for the ccm custom code migrations preparations for c 
custom code migration activities so these and all the things we will perform it then once everything is done all the so remedial whatever the actions whatever the checks you are performing here so you will get the issues and the remedial actions so whatever the remedial actions so which means suppose as part of the readiness check reports as part of the simplification item catalog you detected like some of the tables some of the entries some of the inconsistencies some of the relevance inconsistency items you found so for that one so we need to perform the remedial actions here after that only we can do the so we can start the some dmo the conversion activities conversion activities here so actual some execution will start from here point number 10 7 right here we will run the sum but that is only for the osdb migration here we will run the sum dmo that is for the to starting the technical conversion activities and everything all the pre steps and everything we will perform it here so here while performing the sum dmo conversion activities here so what we can do here so the next steps like so we have to decide as a group we have to decide like so whether we can use the so system move system move option or without system move option so for the last batch we used this option system move option so with this option what happened our existing ecc system so what we have total 40 40 classes it's taken entire this one so what happened last time so your ecc is here is on the windows and this is the linux bus different data center either it is the target is the different either on prem to on prem or cloud or different whatever it may be so here what we did is here sap is running so i will choose sql server on the windows so entire system move option means this sap we move to the here sap we move to the here right it's system move option with parallel mode serial mode also we used it here so then db also split it and db also we move to the db also we move to the the target system here we move it here db also we move to the sap and db we move to the here right this is what we have done in the last time here the last batch so the system move option that we can decide it during the execution or now also we can decide it how you are planning here with the system move option without system with system move means whatever the source is there entire the uh, source will go and will run on the target linux side including your ascs pass also will move to the line so your target system it will be convert ecc will convert to the s4 hana sql server will convert to the hana database that will happen in the single step so with the system move option or without system move option these two options we can choose it here also here you will also experience with the parallel mode or serial mode here so parallel mode or serial mode here so parallel mode parallel mode and serial mode here so here last time the typical option we selected here parallel mode option we have selected we have done it here why because simultaneously to reduce the downtime to simply complete the activities quickly what we did is here parallel mode we selected which means while source system activities are running here dmo conversion activities then at the same time target system activities also we have started so that is called the parallel mode serial mode means once the everything is source export is completed then move the sum directory from here to target side then perform the remaining steps here this is the serial mode here so these two differences benefits advantages and with system move without system move and those things we will discuss in the step number eight while proceeding in the conversion activities here so once we, everything is done parallelly we will build the target system activities parallelly the parallelly <coughs> while doing this activity so parallelly we will build the parallelly so we parallelly we build the so target side activities target side means our s4 and the hana side activities we will perform it here while this moves moving we will perform this activities here right so that is the parallel build activities we can do right simultaneously maybe i can say like simultaneously we will build it here right once that is done then once everything is done we'll validate the we'll validate the 
So data, we will validate the data in so S4 HANA system. Whatever the data is there in the source ECC, everything will move to the here. Yeah. So we will validate the data, maybe jobs running, functionalities, whatever the work functionalities, code, whatever the custom code you have in the source, whether it's coming to the here, whether your jobs are running here or not in S4 or not. So all those things we will validate the data in the here. So this is the overall our plan here, right? So source is the Windows SQL Server, target is the so Linux and HANA database. So this is the different one. This is the different one here, right? So this is the our overall, overall the migration and conversion plan here. So here, not only OSDB migration and conversion, here also we will build the system copy, system refresh, DB refresh activities, post steps, all those things we'll discuss. And here we have the tons of nodes we have to implement in the RC and SIC, CCM, and we need to do all kind of work here. So these steps we do, as part of our classes here, right? So this is the options, options with us only here, right? Whether system mode or without system mode or parallel mode, serial mode. So those things will decide during the activity, right? Also regarding the each and every class is recorded. Class is recorded. So you will get the video after the class completed. We will get the videos and documentation and server access also you will get it out here so server access means everybody will get the different 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 user ids own individual user ids in the real time how we will log into the our real time server will progress the uh, activities one by one one by one how we will progress the so activities same way we have to progress the activities in the server side so like uh, uh, suppose if i am doing the free checks so all the free checks we have to complete it individually everybody so we have to get hands and we have to do the so over work here when you are planning the sum upgrade then that time also so we have to progress over there in the same we have to progress as a group each and everything we have to plan it here we have to progress the activities and everything regarding the server access and everything here so this plan for the last batch it took the 40 days 40 days it took with this exactly same plan we discussed that the 40 days, 40 classes we completed. So I'm thinking the same way we can complete. If you follow the same approach, we can complete it. Maybe if you are, if you are, maybe if you are minimizing something, this is the larger plan actually, this 40. Normally it should be 30 days only, but 10 days extra, we kept it because of the <clears throat> many activities, issues. So very brief discussions about the the serial modes, parallel mode, system mode options, builds, all those things here. So that is the, the overall plan of this migration here, right? So this is the our plan 